All right, guys. So what we'll do first is we're going to set up our MetaMask wallet to function as a BEP20 token wallet. What this allows you to do is interface and use the Binance Smart Chain. I have already programmed my wallet. This is going to be the first resource in the description. I, if you scroll about halfway down, it'll get you to this section here, connect your MetaMask with Binance Smart Chain. The first half of this is how to set up your MetaMask. Since I have already done it, but my Binance Smart Chain wallet will show up right here. I have sent myself just a little bit of uh, ETH just to get through this so I can show you guys how it works. But if you follow these directions, this will get you set up for the test net. Make sure you set yourself up for the main net, just a quick pointer. And it's pretty fairly easy to, to get going here. So I don't really wanna to spend too much time on this. The resource is pretty self-explanatory. But as you can see, I don't have anything in this BSC wallet yet. So in order to fix that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into the second resource, which is going to be the Panama Smart Bridge. So what this is, is this is the bridge that allows you to get from the ERC-20 Ethereum network over to the BEP-20 network, which is Binance Smart Chain. So the first thing we're gonna do is I am going to send myself this ETH and make sure you put a zero in front of the decimal point or else it will not uh, function for you. It's a kind of a funky little thing. Uh, but if you make sure you put a zero in front of the decimal, it should work. I'm going to connect my wallet. We're going to go up here to MetaMask. We're going to connect the wallet. So now that it is set up, this is going to be my transaction. And the destination that we're going to send this to is the same exact wallet address. So if you just open up your MetaMask, you're going to copy this. And you're going to put that in there and hit next. Just double check everything that this is the correct address you're sending it to, the same asset. Always, always double check when you're doing these things. Very easy to get hung up um, on these transactions with simple little stupid things. So we're going to go ahead and confirm this. Now what we need to do is actually send these funds to the deposit address, which is still going to be on the ETH network. This is just kind of like a, uh, a deposit address that will get you over to the Binance Smart Chain there is going to be gas fees involved this. So once you're able to get onto the Binance Smart Chain, it's going to be costing you fractions of cents to do transactions. But the problem is getting your funds over to that network still requires you to pay the Ethereum gas fees. Um, but once you're able to make a few transactions, you should be able to have enough uh, to get over onto that network. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this transaction. Hopefully gas fees aren't outrageous. Okay, so five bucks to send 25 bucks still sucks. I still hate it, but we're going to go ahead and do it just so I can show you guys how to get over to the Binance Smart Chain. Now, this typically is a five to 10 minute process. Sometimes I've seen it take up to 15 minutes, uh, but what happens is now this is waiting for the actual deposit. So I sent this amount to a deposit address in my wallet, but now it's going to this deposit address. So we have to wait to get confirmation of all this. All right, so now you can see this is confirming that it was sent to the deposit address, which is good news. Now we're just waiting for this to get 12 confirmations. It's been maybe tops five minutes. All right, so now we see the confirmation was made. One quick note I wanna make is you're going to wanna start out with BNB. I know I'm showing Ethereum in this example because I do have BNB in this wallet already, but BNB is going to be your gas. You can buy BNB on most exchanges, but you need to have that in your wallet so that you can perform gas fee transactions once you actually get your Ethereum or other assets onto the Binance Smart Chain. So just a quick note, make sure you have BNB in your wallet because once you transfer over to your wallet on Binance Smart Chain, you have to have BNB to make any kind of transaction. So that's also a quick note that I do want to make. All right. So quick note, guys, what we're going to talk about now is getting started on pancake swap. This is one of my favorite DEXs ever to use just because it's on the Binance Smart Chain. This is very fast. It's super cheap to do transactions. But once again, you have to have BNB on the Binance Smart Chain to make sure that you can do can transactions. So as you can see, this is going to be on the left-hand side, the exchange part. I can swap out pretty much any of the coins you can see. The ETH that I sent myself earlier, this is the BNB that I sent myself previously so that I could have that gas to navigate the network. 
Uh, but pretty much any of the, these other tokens you can see here are added in here, which some of these projects I've never even heard of, but a lot of these you've probably seen uh, around before. You, have, you can pretty much wrap any asset you can think of in a BEP20 style token. It, it's just absolutely endless the amounts of tokens that you can get on this DEX, and that's why I absolutely love it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the farms. This is super cool, super high yields here. As you can see, not as high as Beefy Finance, though. We're going to get into that in a different video, but this is kind of your introductory to Pancake Swap. What you need to decide is what assets you want to get to be able to stake in this. They even have Amazon. So it's like they have all of these different pools you can see. So I'm just going to keep it easy. I'm going to start out with the Cake and B&B &B liquidity pool. So what do you need to do? What you need to do is essentially get this liquidity pool token, which is an IOU from Pancake that just says, hey, you're staking X amount with us. And now we're gonna give you this slip that says, hey, you can return this at any point in time and cash out whatever you lend to us. So what we need to do is I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna stake Cake and BNB &B LP. But first I realize, oh my gosh, I don't have Cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out some of this ETH that I had or another asset, whatever you want. You can change out whatever you transferred over from the Ethereum network. And I'm going to look up cake. So I need to stake this certain asset into the cake system, into the pancake decks. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do 0 0.005 and we're going to swap these out. So you can see ETH to cake and we're going to approve this ETH first. It's going to pop up my MetaMask, five cents. Absolutely awesome. As you saw earlier, I paid $5 just to change over 20 bucks earlier on the Ethereum network. Freaking crazy. But now we're going to confirm that. You can see how fast this is about to go. It's going to maybe take 10 seconds. And then we're going to move right into swapping it so that I can actually get that. But that's going to be approving the actual transaction, which takes a couple of seconds. So now that this is populated, what we're going to do is we're going to swap it out. And we're confirm this swap 0 0.005 ETH for cake. Same thing. So this is going to be 0 0.003 of one single BNB. BNB right now, I think is like 60 bucks. So we're talking fractions of cents here just to be able to do this transaction and swap out these assets. What I need to do is, is I'm going to stake a little bit of this BNB and I'm going to stake a little bit of this cake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of this BNB. I don't wanna stake all of it because it is gonna be my gas for future transactions. So just to show you guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. If you max out and you're not able to do the transaction, it's because you don't have enough of one asset. It's gonna be a 50-50 split. So you have to make sure you have enough of both assets to go into this pool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna approve this transaction. Five cents again. I will take these transactions all day because of how fast it is. I'm not worried about five cents at a time because I know I'm going to make it up in these liquidity pools. Three cents. And now we're going to supply this. So you can see it's going to ask you to confirm your supply to this pool. And we're going to go ahead and follow through with this. So that'll do it. So now it says here in my LP tokens in your wallet, you have this amount. And that's how much you're staking of each of those assets. So now let's go back to the farm. And now we're going to stake BNB and cake in this pool right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to approve the contract. Seven cents to do this. And now we're going to stake the liquidity pool. So you want to hit your max and we're going to confirm. 0 0.002 of a BNB. I will take that all day long. So now you can see the liquidity pool token that I just had is now officially staked inside of this pool. So that is how you enter liquidity pools inside PancakeSwap. There's a few other features though. If you want to stake single assets, it's the same idea. You're going to go up here to the exchange and exchange whatever asset you want to get into this pool. And you can see these are all single asset pools. So it's the same concept, except instead of making sure you have two assets, you just need to make sure you're exchanging whatever you're using over to these assets. So if I have ETH and I want to make it into this cake pool, you just have to exchange your ETH for cake and then come over here and approve the cake and it'll get you started inside this pool. 
Other things I did note that they have is this lottery thing where you can approve cakes and you can get you can get a chance to win the lottery, the total pot. Um, it's an interesting incentive to get users involved with cake and obviously use their governance token. Uh, but it's very interesting to see that they're doing this uh, just like there's been a few other projects I've seen are doing lotteries as well. And this is something new that they're doing is these NFTs, trade cake to keep in your collection. So these are NFTs, which you can swap out. Very interesting stuff. I think this is the next evolution of what NFTs are going to start doing is start getting integrated to these DEXs. And I'm super excited to see Pancake do this. All right, guys, that was the Pancake Swap tutorial. I hope that was super helpful for you. If you are an ETH user and you are sick and absolutely tired of paying high gas fees with extremely slow transactions, sometimes they even get stuck and you lose those gas fees, this is the place for you. Pancake Swap is an absolute game changer. That's why it's ranked number eight. And it's only been around since September 2020. So it's less than six months old and this thing is absolutely booming right now. If you have not given Binance Smart Chain a chance, I highly recommend you do so. I know there's some hurdles in the beginning of this thing, getting your MetaMask set up and getting it ready to go for Binance Smart Chain. But once you're able to use it and get it into that ecosystem, it becomes extremely simple. And this is what DeFi is all about. Low transaction costs and extremely fast transaction speeds. We're talking 30 seconds to a minute tops on a lot of these transactions. And they're super cheap. We're talking three cents, five cents, less than 10 cents to get into liquidity pools sometimes with even with two or three transactions. So I'm highly, highly recommending you check out Pancake Swap and use their decks, play around with it. They also have those single asset pools, which are super easy to use. And now they're integrating in NFTs. Super cool and excited for what is next for pancake swap i appreciate you guys tuning in and stay tuned for beefy finance tutorial this one's going to be a game changer if you like pancake swap you're going to love beefy finance it is like pancake swap on steroids extremely high yields you're going to absolutely love it make sure you like subscribe hit the notification button so that you know when i post up these hot tips appreciate you guys tuning in until next time guys deuces